The Most Beautiful Woman in Town and Other Stories by Charles Bukowski captures the raw, gritty realities of marginalized individuals, rendered in Bukowski's characteristic blend of cynicism, vulgarity, and empathy. The collection presents a brutal honesty about human nature, especially regarding the flawed, fragile, and self-destructive aspects of people who live on society's fringes. Bukowski's use of language is unflinching, often laced with profanity, but it also contains moments of striking beauty and lyricism, revealing his underlying compassion for his subjects. The title story, The Most Beautiful Woman in Town, centers around a woman named Cass, whose beauty is both her curse and her liberation. Bukowski explores the ways in which societal expectations of beauty trap Cass in a destructive cycle of self-loathing and defiance. Cass rebels against these ideals by mutilating her own body, marking a rejection of conventional beauty standards. The relationship between Cass and the narrator is a study of how flawed individuals connect through shared pain. Bukowski's depiction of Cass is both tragic and tender, highlighting the way her physical beauty is weaponized against her, while the narrator's passivity reflects a broader societal apathy towards suffering. Throughout the collection, Bukowski focuses on characters who are damaged, both emotionally and physically. His stories are filled with drunks, prostitutes, gamblers, and outcasts, all struggling to find meaning in their lives while coping with the brutality of existence. Bukowski's world is one of disillusionment, where dreams are dead, and survival is the only goal. His protagonists are often cynical, resigned to their fate, yet they exhibit a certain resilience and dignity in their ability to endure hardship. The author does not romanticize their suffering, but he does humanize them, presenting their experiences with a level of empathy that elevates his work beyond mere nihilism. In stories like, Kid Stardust on the Porterhouse, Bukowski presents a narrator who is simultaneously detached and deeply introspective, reflecting on his interactions with people from the periphery of society. The boxing ring becomes a metaphor for the struggles these characters face outside of it. Here, as in many of the stories, Bukowski's prose is direct, even brutal, but it is imbued with an understanding of human frailty. The narrator recognizes that life is a constant battle, and those who participate in it, like the boxers, are fighting for survival in a world that offers them little hope. Bukowski's writing often blurs the lines between autobiography and fiction, with many of his narrators bearing a strong resemblance to his own public persona as a hard-drinking, misanthropic writer. In stories like One for Walter Lowenfels, the narrator's alter ego, Henry Chinaski, embodies Bukowski's own disillusionment with the literary world, mocking the pretensions of poetry and intellectualism. The story is a biting critique of the commercialization of art, with Chinaski's disdain for the literary establishment reflecting Bukowski's own feelings of alienation from mainstream culture. Yet even in his critique, Bukowski manages to find humor, with his irreverent tone and sardonic wit providing a dark levity to the narrative. Underlying the grittiness and vulgarity of Bukowski's stories is a deep sense of loneliness and longing. The characters in The Most Beautiful Woman in Town and Other Stories may live on the edges of society, but their desires are universal. They seek love, connection, and meaning, even as they sabotage their chances for happiness. Bukowski portrays this tension between self-destruction and yearning with a brutal honesty that resonates with readers. His characters are often their own worst enemies, but they are also victims of a society that has failed them. This duality makes Bukowski's work both compelling and heartbreaking. Bukowski's ability to convey the ugliness of life alongside moments of unexpected beauty is what sets his work apart. The most beautiful woman in town and other stories may be filled with crude language and shocking imagery, but it is also a deeply humane collection. Bukowski does not shy away from the harsh realities of life, but he also offers glimpses of hope, however fleeting. His stories are a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, even in the face of overwhelming adversity.